All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. One last video to kick off the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for the support all year long. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to install a two gang box from start to finish with two separate switches controlling two different lights. And today's video has been sponsored by Upstride, but more on that later. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so starting out, you're going to need a two gang box for your two gang installation. And then once you have that installed, you can go ahead and grab your two light boxes and screw those in if you are using the spreader bar bar type like I am. And then go ahead and get those straight and screwed down. Repeat the process. And then once you have both of those light boxes installed, go ahead and grab your incoming power wire. This may be a 14-2 or a 12-2 depending on what type of wire you are using. I am using 14-2 as you can see here. Go ahead and start by stripping that out if you're going to pre-strip and put it in the box. Remove the sheathing and remove the paper from the ground as well. And then go ahead and continue to install and put that into the box. And then you can estimate the length of the wire that you need to cut off by wrapping it around the bottom of the box and cutting. Um, to keep the wire safe, I went ahead and put the wire behind the bar. That'll make it easier to install the tape later to support it and also keep it less likely to damage. And then go ahead once again and strip your wire before you put it in the box if that is the way that you do so. I like to put the right switch leg in the right side of the box to signify that it goes to the right side of the light. And the left switch leg in the left side of the box to signify that it goes to the left side. Um, and put in the power wires in the middle of the box. After that, you can go ahead and take your next wire, strip it, and put it in the box. And then leave enough wire to... Um, leave a nice corner and get into the box, wrap it around the bottom of the box once again and cut. And then go ahead and continue to strip as always and remove the paper from the ground, stick it inside of the box, and then go ahead and staple it next. And then throw a second staple on top just to make it look nice and keep it protected. Next, you can go ahead and throw two wraps of tape around each of the wires to the spreader bar to give it extra support and also to make it look nice. Before we go any further, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, which is Upstripe once again. Upstripe is a website dedicated to future trade professionals. If you guys are looking into the trades, I would highly recommend them. So if you guys are just starting out or you're getting ready for your journeyman exam, they have you covered. They have anything from electrical, HVAC, plumbing, contractor licenses. So it's not just for electrical courses, but any type of trade. First of all, they have one-on-one -on -one tutoring in case you guys need extra help, which is from professionals who have been in the trade for a long time already. Second, like I said, they have journeyman exam test prep. If you guys need to study before taking your test, they have extra help for that. Third, they have continuing education. In case you guys are already journeyman like me and you guys need to keep your license active, they have you covered. Lastly, if you don't need any of those, you can become a one-on-one -on -one tutor as well for Upstripe and make some extra income on the side. All right, guys, so if you fall into any four of those categories, make sure to click the first link in the description. But anyways, let's get back to the second half of this video and I'm gonna show you guys how to wire this up correctly and test it out. All right, so the lights that I am installing don't have ground wires on them. So make sure if your lights do have ground wires, make sure to ground them. Go ahead and strip and curl each of these wires that you are going to use. Mine need to be curled, but yours will probably just be need to wire nutted to the lights. Um, I'm using these ghetto garage lights. Once you have your lights wired correctly, go ahead and install the screws into the boxes. Next, line up the light holes with the screw holes and then tighten them down with your drill, top and bottom. Make sure it's tight and then repeat the process on the second light. Next, go ahead and install your light bulbs on both of the lights. And then to the fun part, grab your pigtails. Begin by untwisting your wires and making sure that they are not crossing over each other so you have the easiest and cleanest work in the box. Go ahead and start by taking all three of your ground wires to the left side of the box, lining them up, giving it the four fingers and cutting it. Next, take your two ground pigtails and your three ground wires from the box and put a wire nut around them and tighten all five of them down. Give it a little tug, make sure that none of them are gonna come out and then go ahead and fold them nicely back into your box and making sure that you have one ground on the left side and one ground on the right side for each of your switch devices. Next, repeat the process with your neutrals. Take all three of them, push them to the left side and strip them out. And then no pigtails needed for the neutrals because none of these switches need neutrals. So wire nut those and fold them back into the box. Next is a very important step to separate your switch legs from your power wire. I'm putting my power wire on the bottom and then folding it to the left side of the box, giving it the four fingers and cutting it and then stripping it and then taking my two pigtail power wires 
and then twisting them together because I need a power for each switch. Then fold them nice and neat back into the box and then take one of the power wires and push it to the right side of the box, the other to the left side of the box, one for each group of wires, which will be for your switch here momentarily. Next, bring your right side switch leg down to the group of wires for the right switch and your left switch leg down to the group of wires for your left switch and then give them the four fingers and cut them on both. Next, begin to strip your wires and curl them for each one of the screws on the device. If there's any sharp corners, you can cut them off before you strip it, if you so desire. And then repeat the process on the left switch. And then you're thinking, I forgot about the ground wires, and I totally did not. Don't forget to curl your ground wires on both, and then grab your device. Take your curled ground wire and wrap it on the ground screw. Pinch it to make sure it doesn't fall off, and then tighten it down. Repeat the process on the second switch. Flip them over to get ready for your power wire and your switch leg wires. Take both black wires and put them on one screw each. It does not matter which order that you put them in because the switch will still work the same either way. Next, take your favorite screwdriver and use it to tighten down all six of your screws to make sure they are tight. Next, figure out which direction your switches are going. If it says no, you're doing it wrong. Most single pull switches have the grounds on the top, but each manufacturer could be different. Next, pre-fold your wires into the box and get them nice and ready to screw into the box. Grab your screw gun and then continue to screw all four screws down of all four switches. Next, I'm plugging in the power for my temporary setup in the garage. You may get power a lot later down the road for your installation after you rough in. If you do everything correctly, it'll work first try. The left switch will operate the left light and the right switch will operate the right light. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you learned something. If not, I just hope you have a great new year anyways. Stay safe out there. God bless and an awesome rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it and help the channel grow. And once again, thanks to Upstrive for sponsoring today's video. Have a great new year, guys. Peace out.